The Tesla bot might not keep its $20,000 price anymore and could be delayed. Elon Musk just said that Optimus is affected by China's restrictions on rare earth exports, which are really important for making the robot's arms. Musk explained that the arms use permanent magnets, and while Tesla doesn't need them for everything, they help make the motors smaller. But now, because of the supply chain issues, getting those magnets is tough, since China requires special licenses to export them. This is a big deal, because last month, Musk said Tesla could make at least 5,000 robots this year, and start selling them next year. It shows that Tesla is feeling the pressure from the trade war, and it's not just electric cars that are facing problems with tariffs, even humanoid robots rely a lot on parts from China. Musk also mentioned that almost everything in Optimus is new, and there isn't a supply chain for the motors and other parts. This surprised us, because he previously seemed really sure that they could use parts from their electric cars for the robot. Everything we've created for our cars, like the batteries, power electronics, advanced motors, gearboxes, software, and AI computers, can also be used in a humanoid robot. Elon Musk has said that while plans for the Optimus robot have changed, it's not over yet. He still believes that limited production of Optimus will start this year, but it might be at the end of the year. Recently, we saw a leaked picture of the Optimus assembly line, showing a new version of the Tesla bot with a more polished head, neck, and shoulders. The design has moved the actuators from the hands to the arms, to support a new type of hands that Musk calls 22 degrees of freedom. This could be the long-awaited Optimus Gen 3. The new arms are completely different from the old ones, and Musk said they were a big engineering challenge. The hands are very complex, so to keep them from being too big, Tesla moved most of the actuators to the forearms. They also had to create a cable system that works like human tendons. However, there's a big problem, without rare earth magnets, Tesla can't make these robot arms, they need a license to use these magnets, and China wants to ensure they won't be used for military purposes, which they won't be, since they're just for a humanoid robot. Elon Musk mentioned that China is worried Tesla might use the Optimus robot for dangerous reasons, like military applications, so they want to make sure their rare earth magnets aren't used for anything that could help a defense project. Tesla is currently collaborating closely with Beijing, to obtain vital export permits for rare earth materials. This move isn't just about securing a supply chain, it's part of a much larger and more strategic framework. China has been intentionally limiting rare earth exports in retaliation against US tariffs, creating global tension, and making it significantly harder for companies worldwide to access these crucial minerals. These rare earth elements are indispensable. They are used in everything from military-grade weapon systems to advanced electronics and even everyday consumer products like smartphones and electric vehicles. Without them, innovation across multiple industries would slow dramatically. Tesla understands this. We remain fully convinced that it is an incredibly valuable and transformative product, regardless of whether Tesla manages to stick to the originally advertised $20,000 price point. When you think about it, the initial cost of such groundbreaking technology pales in comparison to the long-term benefits and potential returns it could generate. We're not just talking about saving a few thousand dollars here and there, we're talking about fundamentally changing labor economics, improving quality of life, and opening up entirely new industries. When viewed through that lens, the upfront investment becomes almost irrelevant. The value proposition of Optimus lies not in its sticker price, but in its revolutionary capabilities and the future it promises to build. Let's be brutally honest for a moment. Before Tesla entered the scene with Optimus, the whole idea of humanoid robots was basically treated like a running joke. They were seen as overpriced science experiments clunky metal contraptions that struggled to even walk without falling over. Most of the public regarded them as little more than technological novelties, good for little else but internet memes and viral videos. Some even made jokes that their stiff strange walking style resembled Biden shuffling across a stage. The whole concept seemed decades away from anything remotely useful or practical. There was a huge gap between the dream and the reality, until Tesla decided to do something about it. Everything changed when Tesla introduced their first-generation humanoid robot, 
Optimus, in 2022. Even though the early prototype wasn't perfect, it captured the world's imagination and proved that real functional humanoid robots were closer than anyone had dared to believe. But the real turning point came in 2023, with the debut of the second generation Optimus. That's when things truly exploded. The updated model didn't just look better, it felt different. It didn't try to mimic humans with fake eyes, mouths, or faces like other robots awkwardly attempted. Instead, Tesla focused on what really mattered, the brain and internal systems, making it one of the most ambitious and profitable ventures the company has ever pursued. Optimus is a true game changer, a machine that can handle the boring repetitive or dangerous jobs that people dread freeing human beings to focus on creativity, innovation, and higher-level pursuits. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, hiring a full-time worker in the U.S. usually costs between $35,000 and $50,000 each year just for their salary. But when you add in health insurance, training, benefits, payroll taxes, and paid time off, the total cost can easily go over $60,000 a year. Now if you look at Tesla's Optimus robot, you could get one for about $40,000. This robot can work in your business without needing sick days, insurance or breaks, and it always performs well. Tesla believes one Optimus can do the work of two or three full-time employees for up to 10 years making it a smart investment that saves money and increases productivity. In retail, Optimus can stock shelves, clean and help at checkout. In the service industry, it can work as a server all day and night without making mistakes. This not only makes customers happier, but can also save businesses a lot of money each year. In farming, Optimus can water plants, harvest crops, check equipment, and take care of animals with great accuracy. It can even move over rough land, which is something most farm robots can't do. Plus, Optimus isn't just for businesses, it can help at home too. It can clean, do laundry, wash dishes, take care of pets, and even assist with homework. Instead of paying $200 to $500 a month for a housekeeper, which adds up to $2,400 to $6,000 a year, you could buy Optimus once and have a dependable helper who never needs breaks or complains. Just think about it. You can get a Tesla Model 3 for more than $40,000, but usually, it's just sitting in a parking lot. On the other hand, a $40,000 Tesla robot could be working at your home for 8 to 10 hours a day. By the time you get home, all your chores could be done. In fact, the work that Optimus does could pay for itself and maybe even help you buy a Tesla electric vehicle in just a couple of years if you use it smartly. The Optimus Gen 3 has a super strong 4680 battery cell, which is a high-tech battery that lets the robot run for up to 10 hours on one charge. It's not an exaggeration to say that Optimus could really help with the shortage of workers, rising wages, and the need for more automation in many industries. That's why so many people are excited for Tesla to launch Optimus, because they are tired of doing chores. However, we will have to wait until the end of next year for Tesla to officially sell it. This wait might seem long, but it gives Tesla time to improve the robot, add more features, and make sure it works well. Elon Musk said that Tesla plans to start using Optimus in its factories later this year. This is a smart move because it will help lower production costs and let Tesla test the technology and get them important data before selling it to everyone. But the first buyers won't be regular people. Tesla wants to sell it to big companies like Amazon and FedEx first, because they need a lot of automation and have the money to invest in new technology like Optimus. As mentioned before, the price might be around $40,000 or even more, especially if Tesla has trouble getting the materials needed for the magnets. Tesla is partnering with major companies to enhance their robots, some updates for Optimus might cost a bit, but they will introduce new features and enhance its performance. For instance, an update could enable Optimus to cook more dishes or perform manufacturing tasks more precisely. However, not everyone will have unrestricted access to Optimus. Tesla will monitor the robot's activities to prevent any misuse. If someone misuses it, they could face serious penalties. Safety is extremely important for AI machines so Tesla is ensuring everything is handled responsibly. They might also require users to take their robots to official service centers 
for repairs to keep them operating smoothly. Tesla is thinking about starting a robot leasing program for Optimus in the future. But first, they need to make sure they can produce enough robots to meet demand. The monthly rental price is expected to be between $300 and $600, which is a fair deal considering what Optimus can do. Renting Optimus could help Tesla reach more customers and allow small businesses or individuals to use advanced technology without spending a lot of money up front. What do you think about Tesla renting out Optimus for $300 a month? Share your thoughts below. Analysts mention that the export ban affects not just mined minerals, but also magnets and other hard-to-replace products. Now, exporters must get a permit from the Department of Commerce, which can take a long time, from six or seven weeks to several months. While Tesla's electric vehicles are changing how we drive, the Tesla bot has even more potential to change our lives. Elon Musk has high hopes for Optimus Gen 3, seeing it as Tesla's most important product, which could boost the company's value to $25 trillion. To make this happen, Tesla aims to produce 1 million Optimus robots by 2029 or 2030. In the beginning, Optimus can only do so much because it needs to learn and gather data to improve its skills, similar to how humans learn. Tesla's plan includes controlling Optimus remotely, while it learns to do household and factory tasks with human help, allowing the robot to gather important data for future independent work. Even though Optimus can help with many tasks, it still has a lot to learn. People are still unsure about Optimus, because Elon Musk keeps talking about the problems it might have. It's about the ripple effects that can hit even the biggest and most innovative companies like Tesla, threatening to derail ambitious plans for cutting-edge technology. Elon Musk remains publicly optimistic, confident that Tesla has a strong lead in this new race toward mass-producing humanoid robots. However, he has also admitted some concern over the growing competition, particularly from China, where advancements in robotics are happening rapidly and at massive scale. Musk believes that an influx of humanoid robots from Chinese manufacturers is inevitable in the near future. Still, he's adamant that Tesla will overcome any challenges, pushing through supply chain obstacles, production difficulties, and market competition to produce a large number of Optimus robots this year. In fact, Elon boldly claims that the Tesla bot will not just be competitive, it will be the best humanoid robot in the world by a wide margin, but it's a fair question to ask. What real challenges does Optimus face on the road ahead? And with China's rapid rise in robotics, can Tesla truly stay ahead in the long run? Let me know what you think about the future of the Tesla bot in the comments below. That's all for today's episode. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, goodbye and see you next time.